you so much for coming this evening. It's amazing to be here and to be with you all. There are precious moments in life, thanks be God, which expand your heart with gratitude, and this is one of them. I'm deeply grateful to each one of you, even the people that I don't know, but it's lovely to see faces I don't know, for coming here again to offer, you, offer me your support. Many of you have done it countless times, and I'm very deeply grateful. Louise, my cousin, has come all the way from Dublin, and my godmother, <laughs> and Colette, and Julie have come all the way from Anna, and we'll go back there this evening, although you're welcome to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you also very much to Stephen and to Dublin for offering us this beautiful space and um, may it always be blessed with exquisite art abundance and good light it's very perfect this evening to share the evening with esther sister in law and mandy my friend they have both been in the perfect place at the perfect time either doing or saying the perfect thing at crucial moments of overwhelm for me and of course, behind every great woman is a great man. <laughs> and Graham is the beautiful, peaceful presence that sat with us at the cafe table. You have to read the book to find out who that was. And Paul, my brother in arms, like all my siblings, is my respected ally and support through thick. Mum and Dad can't be here because they're enjoying life in Melbourne <laughs> with my sister. But they have become my biggest friends. Dad is quoting my book at me. <laughs> and we've had some very enlightening conversations together. And that is truly one of the greatest pleasures that's come from this book. I can't talk about Gilan, Noah and Toby without my heart bursting all together messily everywhere. So suffice to say... They have all the qualities I aspire to, to have myself in my life, and I learn from each one of them every day. And my gratefulness to my unseen friends, who are the real authors of this book, is eternal. This book has been my manual in how to claw my way back, step by step, from what was an abyss of despair and self-judgment towards a learning on, of an unconditional love of myself and regain faith in an unseen world that I know from experience is ready to move mountains if I can just believe and if I remember to ask. And that journey from head to heart, from despair to compassion, is a long and quiet journey done alone with no one to see, no one to applaud, no one to honour you other than yourself. If I thought for one moment that the words in this book were to offer a little bit of comfort, encouragement or acceleration to someone in those long moments of darkness, then I would consider myself truly complete. I know that we're here to love, to love ourselves first and foremost, and then overflow all that love that we have for ourselves everywhere else. May we always be in service in all we do to that love that we all are. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.